Hey guys, Mike from Pinpoint Podiatry here. And yes, if you read the title of the video before you clicked on it, I'm gonna be talking about six reasons why I think LeBron James is so damn durable and relatively injury free. So before we get into those six reasons and why LeBron is in such top shape, I think it's important to appreciate just how much LeBron has played and how little he's been plagued by injuries. LeBron James has played 14 seasons in the NBA and for the last eight seasons in a row, he has made the finals. Over the years, LeBron has led the league in minutes at various times in his career. Just this season, LeBron was first in minutes per game at just under 38 minutes per game. And this was done at the age of 32. Now, as you guys know, many NBA players, once they hit their 30s, start to decline, but not for LeBron James, who this season averaged 26, eight, and nine. And to be honest, LeBron was probably my MVP for the season. He is seventh all time in minutes per game, just under 39 minutes per game. The only players ahead of him on that list are Wilt, Russell, Robertson, Iverson, Baylor, and West. He's also 17th all time in minutes played when you include the playoffs at just over 50,000 minutes. And keep in mind, this doesn't include any Olympic campaigns. So how many games has LeBron James missed over the course of his career? He's only missed 87 out of 1,298 games. So only just under 7% of his game. And let's keep in mind that LeBron James in the past couple of seasons hasn't really missed games due to injury, but for rest. Most of LeBron's injuries over his career are quite minor and he's missed minimal time as a result of those injuries. So how is it that a guy like LeBron James is able to play at such a high level and remain relatively uninjured? First off, we're gonna be ruling out the use of performance enhancing drugs. PEDs help with recovery and are mind-blowingly powerful. But in my videos, I wanna be able to give you guys some information that will help you. And most of you guys are not taking PED. Plus, I'd like to think that LeBron doesn't need the use of PEDs to be the great player that he is. Just keep in mind, guys, that a lot of professional athletes do use performance enhancing drugs. But let's not worry about that today. Let's talk about things that we can work on together and that will benefit you guys. So let's talk about genetics. Genetics or DNA is basically what makes you, you. There have been a number of studies showing that a favorable genetic makeup can help with recovery. So why is this a massive advantage for someone like LeBron? A regular NBA season comprises of around 82 games starting from late October and ending in mid-April. So that's about six months. And across the six months, that's about an average of 3.28 games per week. Then you add in the additional workouts and the travel, the NBA regular season can be a slugfest. Players have to play back-to-backs or even back-to-back-to-backs. This is when a lot of injuries can occur when you don't allow your body to recover. But if you take a look at LeBron, he's been relatively unaffected by the NBA regular season and the slug that it can be. Especially when you compare him to a majority of the NBA players. This leads me to my next reason. As LeBron has gotten older, he's taken games off to allow his body to rest. Now I know there are people out there who have an issue with players taking games off for rest, but myself, I don't have an issue with it at all. The research and evidence speaks for itself. Giving guys like LeBron a game here or there to rest is beneficial in the long run for them and the team. Which in turn, when guys like LeBron are playing out there on the court, it is also beneficial for the league as a whole. Would you rather see LeBron play a meaningless NBA regular season game for the sake of possibly being injured in the NBA playoffs? I know which choice I'm taking. Rest is an integral part of injury prevention and any training program out there. You can't train seven days a week at 110%. You're asking for trouble. Train smarter, not harder. That doesn't mean not train at all or don't work hard. It simply means program a lighter session in your training so that you guys allow your body to rest while still getting the benefits of that training session. Now, the next reason, let's talk about LeBron's footwear. As a podiatry student and seeing this firsthand, one of the quickest ways that you can injure yourself is by wearing the wrong footwear. LeBron is up to the 14th signature shoe in his line with Nike. LeBron's shoes over the years have been notorious for their impact protection and maximal cushioning, as well as the support you can find within the shoe. The current model, the LeBron 14, has Hex Air Zoom Bags 
and they are larger than ever at 14 millimeters thick. Now for you guys that know your basketball shoes, a 14 millimeter zoom unit is absolutely huge. With LeBron's shoes being designed for maximum impact protection, it's no wonder why LeBron's feet have managed to take such a massive pounding over the years. LeBron is also known to wear orthotics, which help redistribute pressure in any painful or sore spots within his feet. But good footwear and orthoses aren't the be all and end all, only a small part of what makes LeBron such a great athlete and why he's managed to remain relatively injury free over his long career. And we're now on to the next reason. The man is an absolute workout warrior. LeBron without a doubt hits the weight room and trains with functional movement patterns. Being in the gym, LeBron trains all body parts for them to be able to withstand his massive 250 pound frame, as well as having a balanced routine so that he doesn't have any imbalances causing major discrepancies between particular muscle groups. Likewise, the man has been known to undertake activities such as yoga that keep his joints nice and mobile. Many injuries occur as a result of imbalances between muscle groups and not having the adequate range of motion at certain joints. For example, having poor ankle range of motion means that you're more likely to suffer injuries like ankle sprains, Achilles tendon problems, and forefoot pain. I believe LeBron's training routine is one of the biggest reasons as to why LeBron manages to stay injury free. This leads me into the next reason why LeBron manages to stay injury free. It's that the functional training helps with his movement and biomechanics on the court. If you take a look at the way LeBron James lands after jumping after a dunk or a block, he rarely lands in a disadvantageous position with his knee and generally his knee is in a neutral or varus position. A varus position is simply where your knee is sitting somewhat outwards away from the midline of your body. If you also take a look at the way he runs on the court, his biomechanics are relatively ideal. And finally, the last reason why LeBron has managed to stay injury free. And all the other reasons I spoke about culminate this. It's due to LeBron's commitment to excellence. This is why LeBron is the greatest basketball player in the modern era, in my opinion. The man is talented, but works extremely hard and understands what it takes to be the best. And you can't be the best sitting on the bench injured. So I've come to the end of the video. If you guys are still here, please give this video a big thumbs up. It goes a long way to help the channel. And be sure to let me know any other reasons that you can think of why LeBron is relatively injury free down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more content and please check out my other videos. Or you can follow me on social media at Pinpoint Podiatry if you want some more helpful tips. So thanks for watching guys. My name's Michael and I'll see you in the next video.